use the right word man i think <laughs> i think because of where we are in the group right now and the fact that we got results against myanmar and uh, pakistan that's when we got more respect from macau they completely sat and they didn't want to play and i think it's very rare that i when i'm playing for my country we get an opportunity where the whole team are in the other half mm. and we're just passing around we could have done much better mm. uh, we weren't quick the movements weren't there in the first half especially mm. we could have done much better but it was it was shocking the whole team sat back mm. macau and we just playing in the half and because we weren't used to this yeah. we weren't sharp thank god uh, in the second half we started pumping in the crosses because there was no space in between mm. and balwan was brilliant mm. uh, we got the win but uh, at the end it looked easy it's only because we did the hard work against myanmar and kyrgyzstan if four months before i would have asked you what do you think is going to happen against myanmar and kyrgyzstan no one would have said six points four months ago i mean i'm sorry like i'm no fans no be, be, be honest But before i came for the uh, kyrgyzstan game i didn't expect see? the result there see and of course you also pulled a, like you and jj pulled a bit of a rabbit out of the hat on yeah, that i mean the whole team played well we defended yeah, so, really well the yeah, first yeah. half it could have been 2-0 mm. but the second half after he scored we could have scored also a couple of goals so i think it was making sure that we defend well mm. because we knew they going to have the ball and they can many with the ball and slowly and steadily we hit them in counter and exactly what happened mm. it's not about only and me and jj but the whole you know i i saw the clipping so many times yeah. there was back four midfield four me dropping in the hole and then jj yeah. and the whole game we did that and that was nice but then it's difficult to beat then your, your team it's not easy to beat you then mm. so we held that shape almost the whole game and we got our <coughs> dividend we got our prize So because we did the hard work, and you know what, Myanmar was even more difficult. Mm. Now right now, we think that you know we are in the top, we are nine points. Myanmar was such a difficult game. Yeah. They had the ball position. Mm. They had much more chances than we did. Yeah. But again, we we sat back and we defended well as a team, and that's why we. And then again, that game Udanta, this game Balwan, and JJ, and they 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 all producing this 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 uh this lovely individual performances which are helping us to get the goals. Yeah. because you can defend well unless you need to get a goal you won't get three points, points yeah. so because we did that hard work against myanmar and pakistan we are in this position mm. brilliant position mm. that we win this game we almost through yeah. and the game is against the less fancy team in this group mm. i don't want to sound sure. and I, i don't want to be complacent as a yeah. team but we know at home against macau we fancy ourselves sure. and i just hope that we are professional enough to go there and do our job yeah. and you're qualified yeah. So imagine so, and how big a deal is that just like yes you qualified for 2011 but that was through the challenge cup yeah. it was a different scenario <coughs> also yes the tournament is extended so there are a few more teams that are qualifying this time around but you will go through the qualifying process yeah. and you will legitimately not not that it was not legitimate last yeah. time I'm, I don't misunderstand but it's a proper qualifying process it's all right man i was a part of both of it so i, yeah. I would think uh it feels good it's not done yet so i don't yeah, want to no. comment anything no. but it feels good to be in the position that we are right now asia cup is a tournament which is the biggest tournament for any asian team and i was livid i was so sad when it missed out in 2015 mm. when i qualify 2011 i i dreamt that this is the tournament that we have to qualify every year because mm. that will tell you that constantly you're improving and you're rubbing shoulders with the best of the teams mm. unless you qualify for the bigger tournaments you will not play against the bigger teams you will not know where you stand so once we qualify for this touch wood then you can aim of having matches against better teams and without disrespecting all the saf nations yeah. but we have to jump up now yeah. you know and i'm not talking about jump directly to play against japan no no but the the qatar the, the lebanon you know the the 10 to 15 10 to 18 teams yeah. because then you know how much you have to improve more mm. in the saf region we played afghanistan and it was a difficult game mm. so you know get difficult games yeah. see where you stand yeah. see how much you have to achieve more and the biggest example that i tell my boys is thailand they got absolutely hammered in the last world cup uh, stage but they are there 6 years back we played them 2-2 at our home Thailand and us were here. Mm. 
They were a little bit better than us, but we are there. But now they are here. They played against Australia 2-1 at Australia. It just tells you that they did things right and they have improved that much. That's the way we have to go. Slowly and steadily, slowly and steadily reach there. And what we can do is to qualify for Asia Cup every year. Then you know you're constantly there. You know, you have to make sure that you qualify for the Asia Cup every now and then. Sorry, every edition. So you know that you're there. And then you know exactly how much you have to improve more. And I just hope that we do, do this this year. In the context of uh, improving, firstly, like, okay, so, like, having you in the Macau game, they marked the hell out of you in G- JJ. Yeah. Having a substitute like Balwant <coughs> come in and change things up, or all of the boys that are coming into the system now, is the gap between the Sunil Chetris and the top players and the rest of the squad which has let's be honest it's existed in for the last mm. 20-30 years at least mm. is that gap narrowing? I hope so uh, the boys the young ones especially who are coming up I've got uh, great hopes from them all of them are really good uh, Balwan I will not call a, a young one yeah. uh, he's been a seasoned campaigner he had a great season last year for Mohan Bagan Troubled us so many times when we played against them. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't a surprise for us because we watched them in training. Mm-hmm. I watched Balwan in training. We watched him throughout the year last year. So it wasn't a shock mm-hmm. for me to watch uh, the likes of Balwan doing well or for that matter, last three years, JJ doing well. Mm-hmm. JJ was three years back, not the same JJ that he is today. Yeah. To see him last three years dominate his position and make his own is nice to watch. Mm-hmm. Some more examples that I can give you is Gurpreet Singh Sandhu, mm-hmm. Sandesh Jingan. And one more young one, which is Udanta. So it's not shocking for me because I've watched them. Mm-hmm. And with uh, Sandhu and, uh, sorry, uh, Sandesh and Udanta, I've watched them in the club also. Yeah. So you feel nice that they want to improve. Mm. So one thing is to have talent and one thing is to be hungry. So a lot of modern players have both, which is very, very important. You can have the best of the talents, but if you don't want it, yeah. who's going to help you? And Balwant is showing it every now and then for the last two years. I just hope it continues because then it's a headache for the coach and it's a lovely headache to it's have. A headache. It's a great headache to have. Mm-hmm. Robin Singh scoring a goal against uh, Mauritius yeah. and he has his own attributes. Yeah. You've got JJ who is the number one right now as a number nine and then you have Balwant who scored I think three out of three now for the national team. What, what else do you want? Yeah. So you know no matter who starts, Options in front. whoever you're bringing in, mm-hmm. he's going to change games for you. Mm-hmm. You know, you have Jackie who did really well. And then you have Udanta who played on the right in the last game. He has options there. Mm. And then you have Holy Charan who is doing really well for us. Who is, an, who is a machine, who is a, who is a horse. <coughs> so slowly and steadily, this is what you want. A competition in your team. Mm. So everybody, everybody knows that they can't be complacent. They can't take their, 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 their position for granted. And also for me. Also for me individually, personally. It's good to be in a team you know, where I'm sprinting alongside Udanta. I, I, I can't take for grant, things for granted. Where I know... Balwant and Robin, they're coming in and doing well. So it's, it's good. It's a, it's a great place to be. Yeah. But everybody wants to improve. Yeah. You know, and then the tempo of the training also improves. Mm. Everybody wants to do well and be in the first level. And that's great. Mm. I have told you, when, <laughs> the moment you cost 30 and you have done whatever you've done, good or bad, the motivation is very, very important. Mm. Because one day you'll get up and you'll think, why? Why? Mm. That's for players like me, Paul, Eugene. I mean, who's a youngster, but not a youngster. Yeah, sure. It's very, very important to be surrounded with these players. Yeah. You know, whenever I do my sprint trainings, I do with Udanta. Keep you on your toes. Yeah, I mean, he, he smashes me. Yeah, yeah. But I know I'm running with the best in the country. Yeah. So all these things, when I want to do on 1v1, I go with Sandesh. Because mm. I know he's, a, he, you know he's good. When I'm shooting, I do it with Gurpreet. Because mm. I know I'm, I'm, you know, so this is very, very important. Everyone improves, it rubs on to you. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's very, it reciprocates. It's vexatious. If somebody is bad in training, and other one becomes a little bit more lethargic, it rubs the whole team. So you want to be a part of a team where everyone wants, where everyone is hungry, mm-hmm. and slowly and steadily we're getting there in our national team. Uh, I don't want to sound. Uh, it, it's not going to be sensible to say that we are having a great time, we are winning games. No, it's just a phase. Mm-hmm. We are clicking. Mm-hmm. Slowly and steadily, people are understanding. Mm-hmm. We haven't won anything. 
You haven't qualified for anything. Yeah. So there's no point. I'm not trying to be modest. There's no point saying, you know what, 11 games, 10 games, this, that, FIFA ranking. No. We're doing well. We're clicking. But our heads should be down just because as India in football, there is no way we can sit back and think, you know what, bhai, maza a gaya, bhaak achieve kar liya. No. So the beauty of it is, no matter how many games we win from now, mm. no matter even if you qualify, the, war, the, 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 the thing is not done. It's just one small step. And you have, to, you have to do much more hard work to make the small step a little bit more better step. So there's no time for us to sit back and say, you know what, maza a raha hai. So keep, keep fighting. And I just hope, and I know for a fact that we boys will try our best to do that.